we're back. I warned uh, Austin, our audio-visual editor, extreme master of that, that this might be a long video. So be prepared, because we're going we're gonna to talk about picks, or plectrums, as some of you may refer to them as. I loved a comment that was made on YouTube the other day. It was brilliant when you compared the different plectrums, and I thought, hmm, I'm going to start talking like that, real dignified. And then I immediately started talking like an idiot again. Hello. Uh, we carry a number of different plectrums or picks, flat picks. We do carry thumb picks, but I'm a terrible thumb picker, so I'm not going to review those today or give you an idea what those are like. Flat picks. Materials, thickness, shape, and size. Ready? Go. Um, I'm holding a pretty, um, I think, a good example of a, a dread that shows off what each of these is going to do, but a lot of you know what a mahogany back and sides dread square shoulder sounds like. I got two today. A D1 from Collings, which as you know we carry, and a Martin um, that is a mahogany back and sides golden era D18. So wider neck, slightly different tone. You'll hear the tone of the guitars different, but I'm going to play them with the picks we carry and then mix in some picks that you probably own yourself um, just to give a reference. Okay? So, <clears throat> starting with something really, really basic, celluloid medium fender. between the round edge and the sharp edge for different tones, but pretty basic. Okay. A pick we carry um, that's Ultim or Ultex. That's our logo. This is their 0.72. Here's in the 90s, <laughs> like me, stuck there. the heaviest of the bunch, a 1.2. I hear more note separation. I think for you bluegrassers, you're probably going to find this. I can hit the guitar harder. It gives me a little more oomph. But that was the thickest of the three. That's the 1.2. Okay, so moving to another brand that we carry, the German Hintz Picks. Start with the Kaysen Pick uh, that you've seen in these videos before. This is their Happy Turtle, the Triangle. <laughs> As I get a little heavier, 
This is their extra heavy in the teardrop shape. more volume. Gaining even more weight. That's the extra, extra heavy. Casein, casein, casein. So still from them, hence, this is their Cream Speedy. Still from Hints, this is their Midnight. Feels like this video's been going on for so long, it started at noon and now it's midnight. Get it? Teardrops from them tend to come a little thinner, so I think this is like a 1.2 and that was almost a 1.4. <laughs> Some of you probably own blue chip picks. We don't carry those, but just to give you a reference, this is a 5-0, a 50 blue chip. Start where I left off. Hints. Turtle. because Midnight. 
of the heavy heavies of the heavy heavy hence. <laughs> Artisans, I gotta see which one is which. Okay, the heavy, heavy, the 1.2. I think this is actually the 1.2. It sounds like it did before. Yeah, I screwed up. Huh, big surprise. So this is the 1.2. I played the 94 before. Here's the 70s. to this hints because I think it's the I think it's the one we get asked about most and how does it compare to a blue chip That's a lot of information. Uh, luckily, the brilliant person that edits these videos puts up information for you so you know what I'm talking about. If you want to watch them on mute and find your pick, they'll be in there. But I think we do definitely get asked the most questions about the hints, the case and pick, and the cream speedy. So all of what I showed you today, except obviously for the blue chips, are available from us. Um, if you're like any of us and you find that you know your acoustic guitar tone control is in here or in one of these, you're going to really enjoy doing what I just did on your own without me there. But the Kaysen picks, the Cream Speedy picks, the Midnight picks, um, from hints, they're they're very different from one another, um, and obviously the different instrument you play. If you're a mandolin player and you're picking something with with rounded edges, like this Golden Gate pick, or you're rounding off one of the edges of your hints, that's as much tonal difference as you're going to hear anyway. So do this and then ask us questions or ask us questions and then do this and then let us know what you think um this is the kind of stuff we really enjoy this is fun um and i know that people can pick a lot more notes many more notes than i can and that's cool too but i want to give you the sense of how they actually sound different from one another regardless of what you're playing okay fantastic thank you for watching um as i said hints um i don't even know if i showed you these 
vegan or vegan picks, we carry these as well. And just to give you an example of what they sound like, that's the Mando pick. The M100. And this is the TF120. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscribe to our comments. Make your own comments, please. Thank you. Take care.